Hey everyone, Dennis Kay here with Belize Islands Real Estate. Hope everyone is doing well today. Today is Friday, January 1st, 2021. All right, so hope you all are doing well and having a great start to the new year. And uh, maybe like you, you're spending some time today browsing the internet, looking at different articles and videos and things on Belize. Uh, I do this as much as you do, probably more, because I like to see what people's opinions of Belize are and uh, what they're finding, that they're enjoying, that they're doing, what's new and exciting. And I came across this article in uh, Outdoor Magazine, and it has a quiz that you're supposed to be able to take and then it's supposed to come up with an itinerary to tell you uh, what you might do on your next vacation or trip down to Belize. And I've never taken the quiz before. So I'm gonna record this live and I'm going to see just as I answer these questions, what, uh, what they recommend my first experience or my next experience with Belize is. So uh, this is gonna be fun. Let me do a share screen with you guys here. And again, I've never taken this quiz before. This is not planned. Uh, this is not, uh, you know, selected to uh, in order to give a certain way as far as uh, what to expect in Belize. So this is Outside Magazine, all right, and the title of the article is Your Personalized Guide to Belize's Best Adventures. Take our quiz to unlock an adventure itinerary exactly right for you. All right, so let's do it. There he is. Find your Belize adventure. Click Begin. So how do you feel about careening through the jungle at 40 miles per hour, hundreds of feet off the ground, suspended only by a steel cable and some nylon webbing? Well, Steph and I uh, were just in uh, Zermatt, Switzerland for six weeks, just a few months ago, and they had some incredible zip lines. And although I'm not a fan of heights, all right, I don't really like it, it was a really cool experience. And I've never zip lined in Belize yet. So you know what? I'm going to say, sign me up. All right, next question. Um, let's see, what, do, what is this? Yay or nay? Vacation is all about kicking back, taking a deep breath and just really, okay, so it's a question. Yes or no? Vacation is all about kicking back, taking a deep breath and just relaxing. Well, for me, no, I mean, I, I get bored. I mean, I can sit by the pool or by the beach and have a drink and enjoy uh, a beer or a glass of wine, but then I need to do something. I can't just sit there all day, every day, like some people do. So I'm gonna say that for me, that's boring. Okay, while snorkeling, next question. While snorkeling, seeing a shark is, uh, <laughs> well, I, I don't like sharks either. Um, now, because I lived in Belize, I, I know the nurse sharks are, are pretty harmless, but um, I would say if I'm snorkeling, for instance, if I went to the Cayman Islands, or if I went to somewhere where I've never snorkeled before, and I saw a shark, all right, worst case scenario. Uh, next question, would, which would you choose? Eating fresh ceviche on the beach, spearfishing, and then eating fresh ceviche on the beach. Ah, well, I've done both. And um, you know what, spearfishing, it is a, an incredible workout. I mean, when I spearfish, I go home and I sleep so well at night because you're, you're under the water, you're distracted, you're looking for fish, you're going against the current. And I think it's a really cool experience. Plus you get to get your own foods. So I would say spearfishing and then eating fresh ceviche. Caves are for the bats, for spelunking and adventures. Hmm, well, mixed mixed views on caves. Um, let's see, I, I've been in a lot of caves around the world, explored a lot of caves. And uh, yeah, you know what, I dig them. I would say, okay, for spelunking adventures. All right. When I see a huge waterfall, I reach for my camera, my repelling gear. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I don't repel, but I love waterfalls. Uh, when Steph and I traveled around Iceland, we've been there twice now, Iceland has waterfalls like Every 20 minutes, you come upon another waterfall. Uh, Belize also has some really beautiful areas where you can see waterfalls, and I grab my camera. So I'm going to say I don't repel them, but my camera is a, a good way to capture the memory. On vacation, a deep tissue massage is uh, the day's main event, best enjoyed after summoning a peak. Um, for me, it's both, guys. Um, I, I love to get massage. I'm a fan of time massage. Um, I work a lot at the computer, so I'm always hunched over, so my neck and upper back is always tight. So it's actually both, but uh, I, I guess I do enjoy it more after some strenuous activity, whether that be hiking or snorkeling or, um, you know, hitting, even hitting the gym hard. So I, I'd say best enjoyed after submitting a peak. 
all done. All right, you ready guys? Let's see what they recommend for me. Take me to my results. And all right, I'm a classic adventurer. It says from the rainforest to the reefs, Belize varied regions offer adventure of all kinds, wildlife spotting opportunities you won't find elsewhere. Um, all right, let's go with, uh, what is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, okay, these are the things that they recommended for me to do. So zip line through the jungle. All right, so we can read about that more. Um, what else do they recommend? They recommend uh, snorkeling with sharks. All right, good. So of course, off the coast of Ambergris Key, you'll find Shark Ray Alley, Ho Chi Minh Reserve, uh, the top snorkeling place in Belize. What else do we have? We have try to spot a jaguar. All right, go to the Cox Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary in Western Belize. All right, you know I've uh, I don't think I've been been there. I might have been there once. Um, yeah, I w was there once because we saw the holler monkeys. But I haven't spent a lot of time there, so that'd be a great spot to go back to. What else do they recommend? Uh, hike into the Zunanchanich ruins. Absolutely. This is uh, on the mainland near the Guatemalan border. Um, you actually reach it by going over this hand cranked ferry across the narrow river and then uh, and then you walk. Yeah. And it when you reach it, it is absolutely fantastic. And then what else do they have? The last thing they recommend. Uh, Looks like a canoe or kayak. Kayak the McCall River. Wow, interesting. All right, so <clears throat> very cool. And I, what I just noticed in the bottom here, it says I can choose for more thrill or more chill. Let's, let's hit the more chill part, first of all. I see a hammock, that looks pretty good. Uh, take a spa weekend on Ambergris Key. Uh, you know what? <laughs> That's what I'm in the mood for right now. It's been since, uh, what? Well, it's been since uh, about a year since I got a massage due to COVID-19. So yeah, a spa weekend on Ambergris Key, that sounds that sounds pretty darn cool. And let's pick up one more. Maybe this is float through, float through a cave on an inner, inner tube. This is great. Cave tubing on the mainland. All right, guys, so I don't want to give away all the secrets, but if you go to this link, outsideonline.com, and you go to the Your Personalized Guide to Belize Best Adventures, you can take this little quiz and it'll give you a lot of ideas on what you can do on your first trip down or your next trip down. Here's a couple uh, even more exciting things to do. So let's check out this one. Spear your own dinner. All right. <laughs> That's fantastic. And uh, I don't know. Let's pick, out, uh, let's pick out this one. All right. Climb Victoria Peak. Wow. Yeah. So you see there's a lot to do. You know, Belize is one of those countries. It's not like just a... A Caribbean island, for example, if you go somewhere, you know, like Jamaica, like um, you know the British Virgin Islands, you know those those typical Caribbean islands. They are absolutely beautiful. I love them. Been to several myself. Um, but what's neat about Belize is you do have the islands of Belize. Uh, you can do all the snorkeling, diving, fishing, spear fishing, all that kind of good stuff. You know, paddle boarding, kayaking, sailing. But you also have the mainland component. And some people overlook that beautiful mainland where you have the jungles and the canopy and just all the wildlife and the exciting things you can do there. So make sure that the next time you're down, you give that some thought and maybe plan to spend a few days in both parts. Or if this next trip down is just simply a fact-finding trip as far as your real estate investment, spend the whole time on Ambergris Key. Uh, but then think ahead, like, what will I do when I come back in the future? Like, if I have my own place on Ambergris Key and I'm, I'm in Belize for a month or two or three a year, what type of exciting things would I do on the islands? And then what type of exciting things will I do on the mainland? So you really got the best of both worlds. All right. Hope you guys found this enjoyable. Again, it is Friday, January 1st. We're starting the new year off right. This is the first video I'm posting. Right now, just so you guys know, I'm kind of doing some paperwork. We're seeing what we have left as far as our current listings, what might be coming up next week. And we know many of you are looking for beachfront properties right now and off beach properties in highly desirable areas like Secret Beach, north of Secret Beach, northeast side of Ambergris Key. So I'm putting together a list and hopefully here by tomorrow, I'm going to be releasing a video with my top four or five listings. So stay tuned, check that out. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll help you find uh, the perfect property in Belize for you to call your paradise. 
All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. And we'll talk to you soon.